Hey Simonics, what's up? Welcome to the very first day of our Ionic holiday calendar special. In most of my videos and tutorials we talk a lot about Ionic code, components, frameworks and all of these things are definitely important but we rarely talk about the people behind all of the code and that's what I wanted to do today with you. So I wanted to share a few success stories from current and past Ionic members with you. So I wanted to share with you the stories of Fritz, John and Chuck. All of them have built apps themselves, they managed to pick up and learn Ionic and let's see what they did. So Fritz is actually a retired consultant who became an Ionic developer. Uh, I actually don't know exactly his age but he was a long time management consultant and now living in as far as I know Thailand and Fritz picked up Ionic to build additional Ionic apps on the side as freelancer. So although he's retired and living a good life, he enjoys learning new technologies and he has built an app for a client and I'm sure he will also build more apps in the future based on the skills that he picked up and that he will learn over the next time. The second one is Chuck. Chuck lives in Tampa, Florida and Chuck is a self-employed developer so basically a little bit like me and what he did is really interesting because he saw a problem in the school of his kids and he decided to take the initiative and build something and this is really something I really enjoy when people take this step so he built an app uh, I think it's called Crusaders where all the families of the other kids on the school can look up the uh, sport activities and dates and where they take place so they get easily access and will never miss hopefully any dates of their kids in the future. And the third story is about John. I actually enjoy this story a lot because John works for a hospital since I think more than 20 years and he's a senior web developer and he started to uh, build cross-platform apps earlier or actually I think he uh, went for native applications first and when the hospital was looking for a developer with a skill set to develop an application he stepped in because a hospital usually doesn't have a huge developer team um, they're not like a regular business but the apps that hospitals create are I think really really important so he was able to build an application for the medical services um, which you should definitely check out it's a, a really cool functionalities inside and I also highlighted this in one of my vlog episodes and so John is helping the medical services to do their job better and to help people in the real world. And all of these three stories um, I feel uh, kind of bit responsible because to some degree I was able to help them through the Ionic Academy to build their applications and so I have a little part in their success as well. And I'm sure you developed some cool apps as well. Uh, you already shared a few below in the uh, past for the review. And today I would also love to know what your personal Ionic success story looks like. So if you have developed something really cool that you're proud about, um, if you're able to work as a contractor or freelancer now, definitely let me know below the video. We don't talk about the people and the cool things they have built often enough so share what you think below this video and I will catch you tomorrow for day two of our Ionic holiday calendar.